Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Today is going to be a different kind of a video, okay? If you can already tell from the thumbnail and the title. And this is my story of how God got me out of an organization. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please watch the video all the way to the end. So I know a lot of you have heard of the Divine Nine. These are Greek organizations. They are Black fraternities and sororities. And for those of you who did not know, I was a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. AKA, yes, the pink and the green, the same one that VP Kamala Harris currently belongs to. And yes, 2021, I was wearing my chucks and my pearls. I know, I know, I did not know. But some things kept happening along the way that God was dealing with me about my sorority that I belonged to, I used to belong to. And I recently left back in late July of this year. We're talking not quite two months that since I've left officially. I was dealing with it because, first of all, I look at YouTube a lot, okay? I look at YouTube a lot. And I kept running across videos that I wasn't trying to of different women who said they had to leave their sorority. And it wasn't all AKA, most of them were Deltas. I don't know if you all are familiar with the Divine Nine, but Delta Sigma Theta is another sorority. And that we kind of like went back and forth as our main competitor sorority. But anyway, um, I kept listening and they were saying things like God told them to leave. God told them to leave. And I was like, mm -mm, that's good for them. God had told me that. I'm not one to just jump on a bandwagon because my thinking is automatically my first thought was, that's what God had that person to do. That's not what God has me to do. Okay. I don't sense anything about me leaving. But as time went on, I kept seeing these videos without looking for them. I didn't ask to look for them. I They just, well, well, once, of course, once you click on one, you know, the algorithm recommends, you know, similar videos. So that's really, but I didn't, the first time I saw it, I never clicked on anything about it or looked up anything about sororities. It just popped up. And then as time went on, I kept seeing it. And of course, I remember that I do have a friend who's been friend with me, friends with me for years. She left AKA as well. She was an AKA and she got saved. And right after she got saved, her mouth opened up and immediately denounced the sorority. Just like a couple of months after she had pledged. But I pledged a long time ago. I was 20, a kid in college. I did not know what I was doing. I did not realize that the, the um, I don't know what you call it, the ceremonies when you get initiated and all the online process and everything about it. And even if you look at the shield, it has paganism on the shield and it's referenced throughout what you're saying when you're being initiated into the organization. And we, I can only assume that the others in the divine nine are the same, but I don't, I'm not saying that people who are in those organizations are bad. First of all, please do not get this twist. I'm not saying that I'm saying what God has me to do. I didn't rush to do it either. I took my time. <laughs> I took my time. I took my time and Time went on and then someone sent me a link to my page. They shared something with me about leaving these organizations. I don't even know who this person is. Okay, I have no idea who they are. I saw that. I said, okay. And then as time went on, I kept seeing these videos. I kept hearing about it. And I was like, oh, I started praying just out of nowhere. Pray. Just ha This has happened to me a few times. It did with Donald Trump and all the things that they got him going through. I started praying. I said, God, tell me what you want me to do. It looks like you want me to do this. Tell me, make it very clear what you want me to do about the sorority that I belong to. What do you want me to do? The very next day, the next morning, the next day in the morning, I was at the gym. I went to YouTube and boom, 
It had, and I look at political videos far more than I do anything else. So you would think that a political video would come up or a religious video pertaining to just living holy for God would come up, but that's not what came up. It was a church video and a, of different Greek organizations stepping in the church, like they were at a step show. And it looked very out of place for a worship service. It was very out of place. And the person who was doing the video was commenting on it. It just, it just hit me. I was like, I, when I pray, I do not pray out loud. I pray, you know, inwardly, you know, only God is able to hear me. So for that to happen the very next day after I pray, it was, it was very, very extremely telling. And I, I still didn't quite do anything. I said, okay, I just, I just didn't do anything. I don't know. Time passed, more time passed. And another person that I um, actually was online with, she was my line sister. She pushed to the group text of all of us that pledged together a long time ago. She said that she relooked, she looked at the things that we said during our ceremony. And she said, and she highlighted them. And she said, do you guys remember what we said? those years ago, I didn't remember some of this, but this is very troubling. And I looked at it and I said, Ooh, we said that it looks like we're bowing and to a pagan God, essentially. That's what it looked like to me. And then when I happened to call this particular person that we pledged together, she was my line sister. She has left the organization as well. We had a conversation she had already sent her letter to the or to the headquarters up in Illinois, I think it's in Chicago, and said that, look at the things that they're saying. She said, these scriptures are found in the Bible. Trust in AKA with all of your heart, mind, soul, or something along those lines. I can't remember the exact words. Trust in AKA with everything in you. That's what it says in the Bible, but they took out God and put in his place AKA. When I saw that, that was the cherry on top of the Sunday. I got to type in <laughs> my own letter, which I had notarized and sent it certified to the Alpha Kappa Alpha Incorporated headquarters. I believe it's in Chicago, Illinois. And I said, remove me. I am no longer a member of the organization. So it's been not quite two months now that I have officially left. And I knew that God was dealing with me on these things. And so God, and I'm not saying the people who belong, again, I'm not saying, let me repeat myself. I am not saying people who belong to these organizations are bad people, but it does have its roots in paganism. I'm not saying nobody is, I'm not saying anyone is not saved. Please don't take it the wrong way. But at the same time, when you sense the Holy Spirit is working on you, and I've surrendered my life to Christ. I'm not a Christian in name only, okay? <laughs> I am a true believer. So I surrender what I want to do. I'm like, okay, I want to do this, but let me just surrender God. Because God can't force, he's not going to force his way in. He could, he has the power to do all things. But God, by his very nature, is a gentleman, so to speak. He only goes through an open door. If you close yourself off and say, I'm going to do this anyway, and be hard-hearted, he's going to be like, okay. But I am going to, I myself personally have learned to just through many trials and tribulations, just surrender. And I surrender. Okay, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? It looks like you want me to do this. And the very next day that happens in the gym, these people are literally having a full blown, full fledged step show. Like they might be in a college gym somewhere. There was no reverence to God and that you're in a sanctuary. They were stepping and I, I'm not sure if the music, if there was music or if it was just stepping, but that is what I saw. And honestly, I have to listen to God. I, you know, God is not going to, he's going to ask me, why didn't you do what I said? And let me share this with you right here. Okay. So here is the clip right here. This is the one that came up that I saw the very next morning after I prayed that previous night. And the AKAs were pink and green. That was the one that I belonged to. They're in a church service. Watch this. Greek membership goes beyond your college experience. This is a lifetime commitment. Hey! 
Yes, that's the video I saw. I remember them dancing and I couldn't remember whether or not it was worldly music, but then I found the clip <laughs> after I started the video. They were playing worldly music and they clearly were dancing. It was like a full-fledged secular step show. I mean, it was a step show inside of a church and this is what they were doing. And I just, you know, again, if you've ever seen the shields for each of the organizations, it has a pagan god on the shield. I know Deltas have the goddess of Athena, I think, on theirs. We have the Atlas, the man with the carrying the world on his shoulders. This is what is out there. And I'm not saying people aren't saved who belong to these organizations. I cannot say that enough. But I know this is what God had me to do. Okay. He, I'm walking in this thing called holiness. I'm trying to live a certain way, trying to dress a certain way. <laughs> um, just make sure the essentials are covered up, even though sometimes I cover up enough for me. Somebody still says I need to cover up more. So I just go with the Holy Spirit on that one. I guess it's just a matter of opinion. But when we are called of God, he calls us out. He sanctifies us little bit by little bit by little bit. I don't know why I've been, I was an AK for a long time, but I remember back in 2015 that I tried to re reactivate my membership because I was inactive. I hadn't paid my dues and I had the hardest time, no matter what I did. It's like they couldn't find my name. They couldn't, you know, I don't know the way it was happening. I, I just went through such a hard time and I tried and I, I just couldn't do it. I wanted to belong to a chapter. This was more than nine years ago. This was, this is like nine years ago, right around nine years ago. And I couldn't do it for the life of me. I said, I don't know. Looks like I just wasn't meant to, I'm trying to be active and I couldn't reactivate it. I kept running into red tape, roadblocks, and maybe I should have gotten it then. But you know, sometimes we kind of slow to catch on to what God is telling us to do. But that's what happened with my experience. And I just want to share, I wanted to share this with you all. I ended up, let's just say I got rid of all the paraphernalia and all the things associated with it. And I still need to brush my social media away. I'm trying to do what I believe God is telling me to do. Um, what we said in the ceremony really was anti-God. It really was. You know, being a young kid, I didn't know what I was doing. I literally did not know. We had to bow down to a picture of one of the founders. We had, you know, all this stuff. And I know that people are like, don't say that, you know, but I'm not a member of the organization anymore. I've denounced it. My, God told me to leave. It, it was nobody made me leave. God showed me what he wanted me to do. Nobody was mean to me. Nobody was nasty. I, I just had um, lunch this past Saturday with one of the women who I pledged with years ago. And it was, you know, loving and kind. And she said, she doesn't think anybody's going to have a problem with me leaving. That's no problem. And she, we, she wants to hang out again. So, hey, God has given me an open door to witness. I'm not telling people they should leave. I would never say that. Never, ever in a million years. I'm just going to witness about the Lord. And as God works on that person's heart, God will tell that person what they should do. 
That's how I'm not into the business of trying to make anyone do anything, but I wanted to share that with you and let you all know a little bit about my journey, a little bit more about me. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You all be blessed. March on Warriors.